Another day of dueling protests at the state capitol all over House Bill 2. Groups on both sides of the controversial law are working to rally their supporters. CBS North Carolina political reporter Bo Minnick is at the state capitol building. And Bo, what are the next steps for House Bill 2? Sharon, there's a federal lawsuit pending on this right now as groups are seeking to get the law overturned. And that's part of the reason why other groups wanted to hold rallies like they did here today to make sure that their voices are being heard. Um, let's speak loud enough so they can all hear us. On the south grounds of the Capitol, one side of the HB2 issue. What do we want? Justice. And just across the street. The other side of the debate. They've placed a very large bullseye on my back and declared open season. Opponents to HB2 say the law discriminates against the LGBT community and should be overturned because it's unconstitutional. They're suing in federal court to do that. The General Assembly in passing HB2 and Pat McCrory in passing HB2 have jeopardized the public safety. Supporters have a different message they want to give state lawmakers. Carolinians and reject claims from the other side that the law should be repealed. We aren't trying to remove rights. We're just trying to support what is right. Attorney General Roy Cooper, who is running for governor, says his office will not represent the state in its defense of House Bill 2. Republican lawmakers tell us they have received offers from lawyers who say they'll defend the state free of charge. In the court of public opinion, both sides are using rallies like this to present their case. I love our state and I don't like the direction it's heading in. We have allowed common sense to go out of the window. And ahead at 6 o'clock, some of the other parts of House Bill 2 that go beyond the bathroom debate and how they sparked more debate here today. Live in Raleigh, Bo Minnick, CBS, North Carolina.